Tyron and Austin again. We welcome back. Anytime Fitness here in Katy, and we are here with your Nutrition Monday tip. And today we're going to share a little bit about Starbucks. Now, Starbucks is hugely popular. Oh, good right? one, good one. But also what is very popular is a, is a lot of their very sugary drinks. And we want to go through the top 10 drinks that you should not be drinking, okay? <laughs> we're going to go through and we're going to share a little bit about yeah, what they are. We're going to say their names, right? Um, and how much sugar is in each one of them, okay? All right, so number 10 on the list is the Vanilla Bean Cream Frappuccino Blended Cream. They have cream twice, so what sounds, does that tell you? That just sounds rich, okay. <laughs> so in so this one, there is 57 grams of sugar, which is the equivalent of 42 um, what, Nella wafers. 42 Nella wafers. Nice. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, what's the okay. next one, Austin? Ah, next. Uh, first off, not trying to shame uh, Starbucks in any way. You just their drinks, drinks like this anywhere. Just some of their drinks. <laughs> next is our Mocha Frappuccino Blended Coffee, which I know some of y'all watching this right now, you might have one in your hand, so <laughs> don't feel bad. But okay, so for this one, we got a whopping 61 grams of sugar, or that'd be about the same as a nine and a half stuffed Oreo. So uh, next time you're having an Oreo, but you're thinking about Starbucks, just go have two Oreos. <laughs> next, right, uh, next we got coming up. Next one, number eight is white chocolate chocolate mocha frappuccino blended coffee. Oh my goodness, 64 grams of sugar. This is the same as just over 30 Kit Kat white chocolate minis. Mm, man, that sounds uh, delicious, but definitely something that's going to end up person. all over your <laughs> midsection. <laughs> next is this one that might masquerade as being a little bit healthy. So green tea cream, frappuccino blended cream. Again, they got cream in there twice. And not frappuccino, a good sign. Not a that's good probably sign. not a good sign either. <laughs> so this one, 65 grams of sugar. Y'all could probably see the trend that's growing here. Or that'd be about six Tootsie Pops or so. So next time, which one's going to last you longer? Mm -hmm. Takes us to a festival in there. Can you imagine how much cardio you'd have to do to burn off one of these? It'd oh, take quite a bit. Woo. Oh, the next one. Oh, this is going to be a nice one here. Number six is cotton candy cream frappuccino blended cream. Okay, in fairness, that one, that one looks pretty good. That one yeah, looks, that looks that like one strawberry. Look, that one does look good, right? Okay, this one, 66 grams of sugar. Oh, oh there's five grams of protein. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, this is the equivalent here of 16.5 jelly munchkins. Actually, I'm not even sure what a jelly I'm, munchkin is. I'm not sure what that is, is but you probably should stay away from yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. It has <laughs> jelly in it, okay. What you got? <laughs> ah, okay. I bet someone else at home has this in their hand right now. We have a Java Chip Frappuccino blended coffee. So mm -hmm. it's got the chocolate swirl on the top. It looks appealing, but not healthy. And again, we're going right back up. 66 grams of sugar once again. Six grams of protein, so it did. It, oh, it tried a little bit oh, harder there. a little bit more. But if you're, if you're a Chips Ahoy fan, you can have 18 instead of that drink. So next time, Ooh. pick your battles. <laughs> All right, number four, we're getting, now we're in the top five. Number four is with a caramel cocoa cluster frappuccino blended coffee. I mean, look at that. <laughs> wow. All right, so here we go. Um, we went down on the protein. Whew, I don't know what they're doing here. 68 grams of sugar. Nice. This is the same as over 18 Rolos. Wow. Okay. I didn't there know we Rolos go. were still a thing. Okay. Shout out to Rolos. <laughs> Cafe Vanilla Frappuccino Blended Coffee. So this one's plain Jane. Why does it come, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Frappuccino's all over the place. Either with and frappuccino. Yet somehow, <laughs> the sugar went up to 69 grams, or that'd be about the same as almost nine Kellogg's Rice Krispie treats. So wow. pick your poison there. <laughs> yep. Okay, what are we now? Oh, Top that, that two. just sounds rich. Ooh. Top two. <laughs> Red Velvet Cake Frappuccino Blended Cream. Ooh, that sounds Wicked. yummy. 70 grams of sugar. Nice. Oh, wait, wait. Three grams of fiber. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is the same as 27 Hershey's Kisses. Man, that sounds uh Yep. Okay. Nice. And number I get number one. one. Y'all ready for it? It is the worst drink on the list. We have a cinnamon roll frappuccino blended coffee. You want to see it? There it is. We got a picture at the top. Ooh, what is the winner here? And 85 oh. grams of sugar, so a whopping 15 gram of sugar jump all at once, or that's the same as eating almost 300 cinnamon teddy grams. 
Is that, is that more than a box? Like how many? Well, those a lot little of teddy ones bears. They send with the kids to the to wow. school. <laughs> that is insane. So again, touching on the don't drink your calories. Be careful of what you're having. If you really have a sweet tooth and you have a craving, you can drink five, six hundred calories, or you can actually go have a donut and that'd be half the calories. So yeah. choose your battles. Pick. Choose wisely. Well, there you go. There's your tip for Monday. Your top 10 worst drinks that you could have at Starbucks. In general, yeah, like we said, don't drink your calories. Save that for good nutritional food. That will there will help fuel your body, give you what you need to be able to make it through the day and to be able to fuel your workouts. So until next time, there's your nutrition tip for Monday. Hashtag Nutrition Monday. Woo! See ya. Have a good one.